Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Here. Yeah. How you get wind of this, old man? They only been down here all the five minutes. Hey! Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here, exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Yeah, you! Stop! Get back here! We got a lot of company back there. Y'all made a big mistake. Light a shot, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. You ain't getting away with this. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How will that I know? They're still on us. Keep up. Ride, fellers. Come on. Come on! 
trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Whoa. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. We got more of the bastards on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. More on the right here. That bastard! Damn it. Move, Bill! Anyway, how about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we were robbing Cornwall. All right, I'm gonna kill you. So good. That one was close. Hold them back. Do not let them close in on us. Did you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. If 
we don't get out of here soon, we're charcoal. Bill. We'll try to lose him in the woods. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. And if you're dumb, Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick. Behind these rocks. Anything? Not yet. You better not dis- No more joy! Uh oh Clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was again. an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, gents. Stay quiet and move. 